I've been suffering from knee pain for years, and I never realized that it could be a problem that was related to my feet. That's until I met Matt Archiola, a board-certified podorthist with Footstar Orthotics. Let's go inside and meet Matt and learn why you don't have to live in pain another day. Studies have shown that upwards of 80% of the American public at one point in their lives have foot pain and need more support. It's amazing to me how many people are satisfied or accept foot pain as part of life. I've been doing this for 25 years and uh, it seems to me people will take care of pretty much any type of pain, but foot pain they tend to live with. I really don't know why. If you have pain, there's a reason for the pain. I often compare the human body to a house. And a person with problems is like a house on a bad foundation. In older homes, as the house settles, you'll develop cracks in the ceiling. And people will look and say, well, there's a defect in the ceiling. And the first place they should look is the foundation. If the foundation is wrong, then the rest of the house is. You know, we find a lot of people come to us with ankle, knee, hip, and lower back pain. And we can determine if there's an imbalance in the foot that might be causing that pain. Our feet were originally designed to walk on soft, natural surfaces like earth and sand. But unfortunately, we now spend most of the day walking on hard, flat surfaces like pavements and floors. When the foot strikes a soft, natural surface like sand, it will give way to accommodate the foot's strike angle forming a natural footprint. However, when approaching hard, flat ground, the foot must compensate by pronating excessively at the subtalar joint to gain ground contact. This pronation causes a chain reaction throughout the body. As the feet pronate, the tibia internally rotate and the pelvis is tilted forward. In turn, excess pronation can cause a range of aches, pains and injuries. You know, people don't relate aches and pains above the foot to their feet. Uh, many times, knee, hip, even lower back pain can be caused from an imbalance in the feet. And that's what orthotics are designed to correct. Now with the advent of digital technology, we can actually, with high-speed cameras, we can videotape the patient and see if we notice any pathology of gait, if we notice any imbalances, any misalignment of the foot and ankle, which can cause knee and hip pain. This is automatically fed to the computer and we can analyze that with tools. We can take these digital files and measure the amount of pronation, which is rolling in, or supination, which is rolling out, that a person may have. This young lady has pronation. If you look at the markers that we set up on the back of the foot, you see how one marker is not over the other? We really want to see this pretty much straight. If we see any variation, and we can measure this angle, we try to look and see if the arch is the cause. If we can pick up the arch and bring this marker right over the other one, that gives us an alignment that, we're, that is acceptable. What you see in the pre-orthotics, you see the little curvature that you have here between the tibia and down the Achilles tendon to the heel. What you see in the post-orthotics, we just advanced this here, you'll see that that is straightened out pretty significantly. We have accomplished an alignment here. This is a pressure map scan. From this, we can see where we're applying too much pressure on the feet and where we might not be applying enough pressure. And believe it or not, if you're not putting enough pressure on some parts of the feet, other parts of the feet are being overworked. We look for to see how good the arches are. We can tell and measure the foot exactly digitally, as you see here, and see what exact size and width the foot is. Most importantly here, though, we can see the patient's center of gravity, center of mass. We really want this box to be dead center, and if we see it's over to the left or over to the right, we know that there's a, an imbalance that we can take a look at. In 3D view, we can actually see where the patient's putting high or low pressure on the foot, and we can alter it. If we look at this and have the computer analyze this for pressure, we can see exactly, exactly which foot the patient's putting more pressure on and which parts of the foot we're putting too much pressure on. And then we can go about and alleviate this. The idea is to alleviate pressure points and to rebalance the foot. 
simple as that. What we would look for in a good scan is we don't want to see these red areas of high pressure, okay? If we take a look at these in graphics in numbers, we don't want to see any numbers up in this range, very high range. So as you see where the red is, we see high pressure areas. After we do pressure mapping, which tells us exactly how much pressure a person is putting on their feet at ground level, now what's important is that we take the person's foot shape. That's the most important. How we do that is, in the past, this has been done with plaster casting. Plaster casting has been done for a hundred years. That's how they get a mold of the foot. That's how they get the shape of the foot. With the advent of today's technology in digital casting, this is CAD CAM. CAD CAM is computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing. We can actually take the contour of the person's foot in the proper position and give us the exact shape of it on the bottom. Now if you notice, you'll see about 250 probes come up around the foot, which gives us the contour of the foot. Now if you just pick up here, you'll see the exact shape of the foot. Now that gets converted into a digital file. After we get the digital contour of the foot, now we can manipulate this contour. This is the beauty of digital casting. Not only is this accurate to within one-tenth of a millimeter, which is unheard of in this industry, we can actually manipulate the foot shape. We can add arch support, we can add metatarsal support, we can add cushioning, and we can work with this file and see exactly the effect that each one of these additions has on the foot scan. What we have here is the shape that the orthotic needs to be in order to support this foot. The major difference, and in fact the essence of Footstar Orthotics, is that they're soft orthotics. They're still supportive, but they're soft. The human foot is not designed to walk on hard surfaces, so it doesn't make sense that an orthotic is, should be hard. The type of orthotics that are designed from plaster casting are usually made out of polypropylene or hard plastic. Footstar Orthotics are made out of a material called EVA. We have a variety of EVA densities that we can use, from very soft, which we would use for a runner, someone that needs a lot of cushioning in a high impact condition. We use a medium density for the average foot, and we would use a very hard density for different activities that require a lot of lateral movement, like skiing, skating, tennis, even work boots. A gentleman that's on hard surfaces, that's on uneven surfaces, or hiking boots, we would use a harder material. We see everybody from casual walkers to elite athletes. And we do the United States Olympic bobsled and skeleton team, men's and ladies. And we won a silver medal, by the way. The reason that Footstar was chosen was because the athletes did not want a hard orthotic standing on the ice. So they needed something that had more cushioning to help them in the push-off in the bobsled. With the Footstar Orthotic, we can design, we make 12 different types of orthotics depending on footwear needs, depending on activity levels, depending on body type. We make orthotics for sneakers, we make orthotics for casual shoes, we make orthotics for dress shoes, and sandal orthotics. Sandal orthotics are orthotics that are very slim and trim and cannot even be seen with the foot on them. The average turnaround time for an orthotic is about 10 days to two weeks which cuts about four weeks off the average wait time. So they can get pain relief fairly quickly. I decided that I would pursue my dream of running across the country. And I was having lots of problems uh, with my shins and with my knees. So this doctor, after seeing me for a little while, finally said, you know what, I think I know what you need. You need orthotics. And, and I know this guy who's, who's good, go see him. I went to see Matt and uh, when I saw Matt, Matt looked at my, my feet and I said, can you help me? I want to run across the country. And, and Matt said, yeah, I can help you. And uh, boom, gave me some orthotics and, and uh, then I, I took off. Footstar's motto is the science of comfort. The meaning behind that is we have integrated these wonderful technologies, technologies that weren't available five years ago. 
with the art of designing an orthotic. We integrate the technologies that we have, the digital foot scanning, the pressure mapping, the high-speed cameras, gait analysis, and the contour scanning, the 3D CAD CAM scanner, with the art of designing an orthotic. What we've done is combine the technology of today with yesterday's craftsmanship. We have three locations now. We started in Milford, and we're still there on the green in Milford, uh, 87 years ago. We have a complete shoe store at that location. We've opened two orthotics offices, satellite offices, one in Guilford on the shoreline and one in Westport. Footstar Orthotics is located at 74 Broad Street in Milford. Footstar Orthotics is also located in Sachin Professional Center at 157 Goose Lane in Guilford and inside the Riverside Club at 13 Riverside Avenue in Westport. Call 1-800-318-0007 or visit www.footstarorthotics.com.